Welcome to the uh, unboxing of the PS5. So, um, if you guys haven't watched my Xbox Series X unboxing, make sure to check it out. You know, this is yet another ghetto unboxing. So don't expect anything huge. <laughs> but what we're gonna do today is basically take this bad boy out of its box. And then after that, I'm going to actually set it up here with you guys. I still don't know where I am going to put this console. Without further ado, let me open this because I cannot wait to see what's inside. I've been waiting for this for a while. I heard nothing but great things, so let's check it out. PS5, kind of a demonstrating what the console does here on top. And then more PS5 and Apparently, you can play this like never before. Um, I've heard that you can actually use less of your memory uh, on the PS5 than you can on the Xbox Series X. I want to install plenty of games. So, let's get this opened. You know, Kinda, I mentioned this. Oh, that's different. It's kind of a shame that they went with the same packaging that they had for the PS4 for the PS5. You know, I feel like Microsoft got the packaging right on this one. I know packaging is not such a big deal because you're gonna take it out of the box and then you're gonna leave it next to your TV anyways. But to me, those little things matter, matter a lot. And I feel like Sony didn't really up their game. Right at the top, Right here, I have a power cable. Instructions, oh no, warranty. Quick start guide, safety guide. Haha, <laughs> the controller. How does this feel? First time with my hands on. And, oh wow. It's darker. <laughs> For to me, every time I, I have seen uh, reviews of this, um, it always looks white. Every single time looks white. I don't know if this is look, looks white to the, in the video, but it's not white. So if you imagine the original PS1, the very first PlayStation, um, think about a color between white and that gray. That is this color. It's like a, a very light gray or a very dark white <laughs> very very dirty white maybe feel on hand man it feels good it feels really good so you know on my review for the xbox series x i mentioned that the xbox controller is definitely the industry standard when it comes to controllers nothing feels better i kind of feel like sony upped their game to the point that this feels as good if not a little better i would say Mm, I don't know. I might be saying that because this is a new uh, form factor in my hand. But right now, I'm really digging how this feels in my hand. Um, as I also mentioned on my review of the Xbox, kind of like disappointed that the triggers don't have that concave shape. So yeah, kind of like still, I think my fingers are still gonna slip out. The one thing that I like about the, uh, the PlayStation controller the buttons are much more silent than those of the Xbox. The Xbox are very clicky and very loud. This ones feel very much, uh, a bit more elegant, I should say. Right, cool. So, that's the controller. Anything here? Any, anything else here? Yes, there's something else. So this is the mount HDMI uh, cable. Yes, USB cable. USB Type C. It's big and heavy. Ho, ho, ho. All right. So on the Xbox unboxing, I said uh, I mentioned that uh, the Xbox was really heavy. Uh, this is heavier. And. This is it, the PlayStation 5. So the, uh, 
color is the same. Once again, does this look white to you guys? Because uh, it's not. I never quite liked the design when it first came out. I was like, yeah, not a big fan. But because of its size, I feel like I like it better now that it's in person. Yeah, I feel like I like it better now that I see it in person. Maybe it's because I bought it and it's expensive. Maybe that's why I like it. I feel like the design might just grow on me. It's a mammoth of a console though. It's, it's huge. Yeah, I mean, that's not much more to say. It's a very bold design that Sony decided to go with. And it's a statement piece, that's for sure. No one is not gonna know in your household and your friends or whoever comes to your house that you have a PS5. There's no hiding this on any cabinet. It's gonna stand out. I am going to plug it in and get playing. I already have some games that I wanna play and I'm looking forward to playing it and finding out what is this revolution with this controller and these vibrations. Let's do it. All right, so PlayStation is set up. As you can see it's a little bit precarious as well, just like this one. I feel like the base is so thin that it might just wobble a little bit more. Fingers crossed the cat doesn't destroy the, the PlayStation. Tomorrow, we'll find out. I plug it all in and are about to switch it on for the first time with you guys. So let's see what happens. Wow, that was cool. Pressing the button. After quite a bit of back and forth, trying to actually get signed in into my account, finally managed to actually do it. That's myself. Welcome to PS5. Woo. You can see, feel some vibrate, some cool vibrations. The speaker is better, that's for sure. Introducing. <laughs> that felt really good. Oh. This is so weird. I can feel the resistance, almost like something is inside of it that wasn't there before. This controller is something else. And, and the, the, the speaker inside of it is almost like, it used to be mono and now it's stereo, I can hear things better. <laughs> this is great. It almost feels like there's little dudes inside here. It's an excellent introduction to, uh, to a controller, I have to say. <laughs> Look at this little dude. Animations are not half bad. He's pretty cute. Look at him going. <laughs> um, PS5, first impressions. Pretty cool console, very different from the Xbox. 
both equally epic. I think I'm not too sure if it's because I got the PS5 later, but PS5 feels a little bit more next gen because of the looks, also because of the menus, and because of this controller. Um, feels feels good. Feels different. I, I understand the hype now. It uh, it's like you have you're holding something next gen. Uh, more so than the console. Overall, I'm happy with both, I have to say, and I'm excited about this new generation of games that are gonna come out on both. So yeah, that's basically it. That is the PS5 unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as the Xbox. And until next time, stay well, stay safe. Peace.